For years, these guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. Look at the hand gesture. Look at how T.D. Jakes is standing. Y'all know that stand. I gotta give a special thank you to the people that was really like there for me. Bishop T.D. Jakes. Mace just dropped a bombshell about the controversial preacher and Diddy's longtime friend, T.D. Jakes, and rumor has it that Pastor Jakes has been attending a lot of freak-offs at Diddy's parties. Rumors about T.D. Jakes being everything but a man of God have been circulating for a long time. However, some new details surfaced recently about him and Diddy being part of a secret club where freak-offs are just the tip of the iceberg. So what did Mace reveal about T.D. Jakes? And what exactly did Jakes do at Diddy's parties? Let's get into it. And I want to tell you why, you know. If the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God can use me aggressively. It looks like Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy could be the unraveling of the industry. And if Diddy gets criminally prosecuted, there's a long list of people he could drag down with him. And one of them is his longtime friend and spiritual mentor, T.D. Jakes. Now, if you don't know who T.D. Jakes is, he's one of those prosperity preachers who claims Jesus is rich and God wants us to accumulate as much wealth as possible. But you'll never catch T.D. Jakes doing what Jesus did and spending time with the poor and the downtrodden. Instead, Bishop Jakes prefers to keep the company of presidents, celebrities, and billionaires. And hands down, his favorite celebrity to hang out with is Diddy. So much so that rumors have been circulating for years that these two are more than friends. Speculations about T.D. Jakes being on the DL have been around for a long time, and they reached a fever pitch back in 2009, after his son, Jermaine Jakes, was arrested for openly soliciting gay sex from an undercover vice detective in a public park, just a few blocks from his father's megachurch, the Potter's House in Dallas, Texas. Now, as for Diddy and T.D. Jakes' friendship, it goes back years, and Diddy even enlisted Jakes to officiate the funeral of his ex, Kim Porter. When Kim died, Pastor Jakes shared her photo on his Instagram, and in the caption, he talked about the love Diddy had for Kim. He wrote, Though you may grieve her absence, realize that many people never had such love in all of their lives. You are blessed to have someone to miss. So it looks like T.D. Jakes thinks love means controlling, beating, and breaking your girlfriend's nose because that's exactly how Diddy treated Kim, allegedly. Kim was going through the same thing. The beatings, that's Kim book. Then you hear about the fact that he, he broke Kim's nose on a yacht? But despite Diddy's reputation as one of the most depraved men in the industry, T.D. Jakes never missed an invitation to one of Diddy's infamous parties. Happy birthday! By the way, when Jaguar Wright was asked why she thinks T.D. Jakes is always at Diddy's parties, she had this to say. I, I but didn't... for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, I... I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred and I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop and he said, ah, ah. and then the bitch is it's on the fucking internet. He's, ah, he's doing all of this, right? And then there's a woman on, on, the, on the dais. Screaming, push the baby out! Birth that baby! Push the... I'm like, what? are we a church? Or is this about to turn into like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut? And Jaguar wasn't lying about that Tyler Perry situation. Back in 2013, T.D. Jakes received a prayer from Tyler in a ceremony that really did look like something from Eyes Wide Shut. And this happened shortly after Jakes also received a check of $1 million from Perry. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessing. He's pushing that baby out. Come on, he's pushing that baby out. Somebody holla, push! Now, going back to Diddy and T.D. Jakes, back in July 2021, they announced they were teaming up to bring Jakes' sermons to Diddy's cable TV network, Revolt. They shared the news during a call, and Diddy talked about how Jakes helped him overcome a dark period in his life. I was going through a dark period of my life, you know? I just lost everything, you know what I'm saying? Girlfriend, mother, my children passed. My 
best friend Andre Harrell passed. A lot of things that just really was taking my mind and my soul. Just I was just in a dark place. I started like watching you and listening to you. It gave me hope. Now, the fact that someone who claims to be a man of the cloth is willing to provide spiritual guidance to an alleged demon and hangs out with him socially is already a huge red flag. But then on top of that, reports also recently surfaced that both Diddy and T.D. Jakes are part of the same secret society in Hollywood, and the parties Diddy throws are initiation rituals for unsuspecting victims. In June 2022, this photograph surfaced of Diddy and T.D. Jakes at Jakes' birthday party, and fans speculated that Diddy's hand gesture was an Illuminati sign. And then some people pointed out that Jakes was wearing red shoes, which supposedly also has dark symbolism. But it's not just fans who think that Diddy and T.D. Jakes are part of a club that has nothing to do with God. There's also Mace, a rapper turned pastor who was signed to Bad Boy and who spent decades fighting with Diddy to get his publishing rights back. Now, if you know who Mace is, then you know he wrote almost everything Diddy rapped in the late 90s. However, for the longest time, Diddy claimed he doesn't owe Mace anything because they only did one album together, and he also tried to disparage Mace's public image, calling him a fake pastor. I did one album with Mace. One album. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album? And then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people. But isn't it ironic that Diddy calls Mace a fake pastor and a con artist when his spiritual mentor is literally T.D. Jakes? It's kind of like Diddy pushing love in everyone's face only to be exposed as the most evil man in the industry. Anyway, Mace wasted no time responding to Diddy, and he said that Diddy and his bishop, T.D. Jakes, are used by the devil aggressively. If the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God could use me aggressively. Because for years, these guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. I went through every step on how to deal with him. Every step on how to deal with Puff biblically. I dealt with him biblically. I reached out to his bishop. His bishop declined to mediate the situation. So why should we keep these same gatekeepers who have done nothing but exploited us and used our talents against us for their own gain? Fans are now saying that if Diddy goes down, T.D. Jakes is next because it seems they're part of the same club, and who knows what they've been up to behind the scenes. Diddy and T.D. Jakes are friends, right? One fan said. T.D. Jakes even attended Diddy's questionable parties. Hmm, show me your shady friends and I'll tell you exactly who you are, man of God. And another person added, let's also call out T.D. Jakes for letting this known sexual deviant be in the first row of his services parading around with Diddy while he was cosplaying like a family man. But how do you feel about T.D. Jakes and Diddy's friendship? Do you think Pastor Jakes' closet is full of skeletons? Comment down below, and then check out this next story.